Hello and welcome back to another video. Happy um, bank holiday weekend. It's a coronation weekend. Although actually when you're watching this, it probably is after the weekend. Um, it is raining, as you can see by my top, and I'm in the car. Um, I'm just popping down to the allotment to grab some seeds and some um, cellular... Is that what they're called? Um, seed trays. And then I'm going to my mum and dad's to sow some seeds. Um, I've just popped to uh, a local garden centre to pick up some more patty pan seeds because none of ours took, so I've gone and got some more. Um, and then I also picked up some golden eye beetroot, which we've never grown before. And then I got a bargain. So these, um, they're shallots and garlic, um, can be sown, well, spring might, I might be a bit cheeky, stick them in and see what happens. Because to be honest, so far our spring hasn't been very warm. So um, they might be all right. But the bargain was, sorry, I didn't actually say why. Um, they were down to 50p each. Um, and I also got, um, I got a, a sweet chocolate fragrance Cosmos. And I got, I think I got a lily and... Uh, a type of peony um which all need to be put in like pretty much straight away because they should have already been in but we'll give it a go um but yeah for 50p each can't go wrong really can you um so as i say i'm just going to nip to the um plot first pick up some of my squash seeds that are there and it's going to be a squash planting day and i'll show you some of my new ones that i've got um when i get to my mum's so I'm still at the allotment, I'm in the greenhouse. I thought while I'm here, I'm gonna sow a load of seeds here as well, all the ones that can be sown here. So I've just sown some zinnias, some gypsophila, is that how you say it? Some statis, some, um, ar oh, what are they called again? Antirhinums, I think you say, like snapdragons. Uh, I've also sown some golden beetroot, some dwarf cosmos, some flocks, some hollyhocks, and uh, what's down here? Some chamomile, and then over here I've got some dahlias, um, some red cabbages, and that's my sunflowers that are already sown. So now I'm going to go. This is what I came for. These sort of uh, celled trays because they're really good for like the bigger seed things. You just put one in each, so they're good for beans and pumpkins and stuff. In fact, these ones are better for pumpkins, so I'm going to see if I can find a few more of them because they're really good. Um, and then I've just got some pots that I'm going to take as well, um, just to do, I might have to do some potting on. Right, in the blink of an eye, because that's all that it shows on the video, although it is actually a couple of hours since I started this video, but I spent a bit of time in the allotment. Um, I'm now at Mum and Dad's, and I thought I'd just give you a quick whiz round of what we've already got growing here um because there's more stuff out in the um in the summer house as well so i will turn the camera around and i'll show you what we've got here so on the windowsill here we've got some leeks yeah two different types of leeks um and then we've got some tomatoes so these are gardener's delight these are gardener's delight Quite small compared to last year, but we started them a lot later. We've got some cucumbers, so these are Telegraph Improved. Spider, going along there. <laughs> um, Telegraph. And then this is some more tomatoes, but I just started, I don't even know if that is a, I don't know. Uh, which is the Cour de Bou. I always struggle with them. There's some broccoli there, I need to pot them on. And then over here, we've got some uh, cayenne peppers, some gherkins. I think these might be some onions, I think. I'm not sure. I've got labels on them, but I can't read it. Uh, oh, I don't know what that says. I think they're onions. That one's red barren onions, so I'm assuming they're all onions. Um, we've got some alpine strawberries. Well, we've got some chilies, some more gherkins, some crystal apple cucumbers, tigerella tomatoes, some more tigerella tomatoes. That looks a bit like celery. 
Yeah, some celeriac, some more cucumbers, some masterpiece, some tigerella, some more cayenne peppers, some more, um, what are they called? Toro Rosso um, peppers, like sweet peppers. Uh, I don't know what they are, but they look like peppers. We've got some aubergine and some more sweet peppers. They look like peas. Yeah, there's some peas, but only a couple coming through. We've got, what is this? This is some kind of brassica, I think. Some Brussels sprouts, some aubergine, black beauty, some new seeds that have been sown, just starting to come through. Oh, these are the ones I did last time. So there's the edamame. Got some coming through. These are edamame. Uh, they're edamame. <laughs> some cucumber. These are um, mini ones. Diva. I might move them onto the thing because they're a bit yellowy. Um, some more tomatoes here. Black Russian. Uh, gherkin. Some more tigerella, some alicante, cabbage, savoy cabbage. That looks like kale at the end there. Might be a cavalinura of kale, let's have a look. Oh no, they're my kaolettes. Oh yeah, I forgot I did them. They're kaolettes. I only did them the other day. That, that's scarlet kale there. Yeah, kaolettes. But normally, because I've got the two windows, it's usually bright enough, but where we just haven't had a lot of sun, it's not really been that bright in here. Right, let me take you outside. I've just noticed there's some more tomatoes up there. I haven't actually got loads of tomatoes this year. Oh, tumbling toms they are. I'm going to start some more of them off in a minute. Right, I'm going to take you out to the summer house. Right, let's have a look. Right, we've got in here some all year round cauliflowers that have been potted on. These look like some kind of um, courgette. Yeah, these are courgette. They're looking good. Um, a couple of them. These look like, the, right, so there's some dwarf French beans. These are bolotti beans and a mushroom in there. <laughs> Just one bolotti bean. These ones look better. What are these? And some more mushrooms. Funny enough, I use some compost over there. I have mushrooms growing in it as well. Uh, these are dwarf French bean, bolotti beans. Not doing that great, the bolottis. Uh, these are runner beans, and what's this one? That's a runny bean, runny bean, runner bean. We've got some more tomatoes. We've got some money maker, some roman, romas, romas. I think they're probably sweet corn, um, but they're not really doing anything. Got some peas. They need planting out. Let's take them down to the allotment. Uh, got some more sugar and sugar snaps and hearse green peas. Uh, we've got some more tomatoes, Roma, Roma, some squash. So these are yellow scallops. So oh, actually, I think these ones are the patty pan. So a few have come up. But I'm going to plant some more now. And um, some zucchini. Oh, these are patty pan as well. They've not come up. Uh, money maker, tomato, alicante, and um, some more. What are they? They're um, mainly potted on as well. They're, uh, Courgettes. And then over here we've got some marigolds. That one's about to flower. So they need putting on. Let's see if I have time to do that today. If not, I can do it tomorrow. Broccoli times 16. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's 16 there, but yeah. Uh, these are all broccoli that we've all been potted on um, and doing quite well. So these are actually pepper plants from last year that have sort of been over winter so they've been kept in here over winter so it's not heated in here but they are starting to grow back it was like a, a little test really to see if it if it worked so so far so good and hopefully we'll get some more peppers off of them this year so this is my pile of seeds that i've bought here um to sow while i'm here i might not have time to do it all um, so I'll get some done and then I will probably come back tomorrow. I don't know if it's supposed to rain tomorrow, but I've got some sort of patty pan squash to do. Um, I'm gonna, I found these indoors, so I thought I'd give them a, stick them in and see. It's possibly on the edge of uh, planting tomatoes now, but we'll give it a go. I can always keep them in the greenhouse. If I keep them in pots, uh, it gives it a longer growing period. Uh, but these are beefsteak ones. Um, 
And then I've got, I'll show you my squash. I've got some tumbling tom, which I'm gonna sow. Uh, bear with me, bear with me. I've got some melon. We did grow melon before. I don't know what variety it was. Uh, didn't really have much flavor, but I thought I'd give it another go. Some cucamelons. I wasn't gonna grow cucamelons this year, but I saw other people growing them and I was like, oh, go on, let's, let's grow them. Um, so, and then I've got some chia, because they're pretty flowers, and then you can save the seed, and I've got some chickpeas as well. Um, so the squash that I have, I can't find my yukikuri seeds. I thought they were at the uh, polytunnel. I thought they were at the allotment, which is what I went down for, but they weren't there. So I'm going to have a look up in the garage in a minute and see if they're here. But the ones I've just bought from home are, so I've got the Jack B. Little. Um, I like to grow these ones because they're just like, little ones funnily enough and they, I grow them over the arches. I've got my other favourites, Crown Prince. These did really really well for us last year um, and we had quite a few nice sized pumpkins or squashes um, and they store really really well. Uh, I've also got Turk's Turban. We, got a f we did get quite a few of them, not as many as the um, Crown Prince um, but they're kind of funky aren't they so I've got some more of them. Then I've got, I bought um, a harlequin squash. I have a feeling they're very similar to a different type of squash I grew last year. Um, but I bought some of the harlequin squash from a local like lavender farm. And they were really, really nice. And I couldn't find any harlequin seeds. Um, but it came up when I searched on Amazon. So I thought I'd get some of them. And then this is another new one for me this year. It's called Honey Boat. Um, and it's supposed to be like sweeter than a butternut squash. Apparently it tastes just like a sweet potato, so it says on the back. Um, and it's good for storing as well. Um, and I thought that like, looks a bit different to what I've grown before. Um, and then I've just got this one. I think I must have got this free with something. Um, it's called Jack of All Trades. And it says it's good for carving, so I can carve it. Um, but also the flesh makes delicious pumpkin pie and soups. So I thought we'd give that one a go as well because it doesn't hurt. So I'm just going to go and have a look, see if I can find my yukikuri um, squash and see if I've got any other ones up in the garage. Back in a minute. I'm back and it's still raining. I've actually got more squash seeds than what I thought. These are the ones I've just got out of the garage. <laughs> Oh, I forgot I had these ones. Um, so I've got the yukikuri ones, which I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but they're really good. They're quite a smallish, they're not small as the Jack B. Little, but they're a smallish squash. I've also got this butternut hawk F1, which looks a bit like a, a butter, well, it is, it's a butternut type squash. Um, it stores well, uh, like 700 gram fruits on it. We never seem to get ones that big, but also got this spaghetti squash. I think we tried to grow this last year, but it didn't really work. Um, but apparently each plant produces seven fruits, so we will see how we go with that. Um, but it is supposed to, you know, actually end up looking a bit like spaghetti, which... Um, is good because it's probably healthier than actual spaghetti. Then we've got these sweet dumplings. I grew these last year. So these are the ones I was thinking of that are similar to the Harlequin squash. Um, I remember them looking like that when I bought them in the shop. So we'll see how they come out and see if they come out of a similar type of uh, squash. Uh, then we've got the Tahiti melon. These are um, old seeds from last year, uh, but we'll give them a go. And uh, these are a type of butternut squash as well. Um, and we, the plants grew really, really well, really, really long, like vines. The fruits on them weren't huge, but um, I think last year um, it was because there wasn't, uh, we had a drought, didn't we? So we couldn't water them um, as much as what they probably would have liked. And then I've got, I don't actually know where this one came from. I don't know if I bought it or, I don't know, it was a bargain at 99p, isn't it? 
Um, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. I'm rubbish at pronouncing them anyway. I don't even know if that's going to be back to front to you. Mm. But it looks kind of good. I like ones that look a bit different. Um, good for actually on Halloween. Uh, this one is, it just says rich, sweet, deep orange flesh. Uh, about £11 um, for each fruit. Like in weight, not cost. Vigorous and highly disease resistant. So, I need to get on with sowing all of these squash seeds because actually there's a lot more than what I thought. And actually, while I was up looking for other, these seeds, I remembered that there was something else I sowed. Oh yeah, marrow there. They've not come up either. <sighs> maybe there's, maybe it's just everything's just a little bit slower to come up. Some of this I'm going to move onto the windowsill, I think, just to give it a little bit more light. But I'm going to get sewing on some of these things now, otherwise I'm never going to get them done. So I just had a little bit of a, uh, a bonus with the Yukakuri one. It says average 10 seeds on the packet. There was 13 in there. So that's good. Um, so that's three lots. I suppose I better get on with the rest. Okay, so the trouble I'm having, and I'm sure this is pretty much the same for everybody who grows stuff, is I'm running out of space. I'm not really sure where else to put stuff. Um, so there's not a lot of space in the um, summer house. I think what I need to do is take some of this stuff down to the plot and keep it in the poly tunnel where we've, we've got some shelving space in there. So I might have to hold off sowing some of these squash um, because I haven't got anywhere to put them. I might have a little shuffle about and see what else I can do. But we like to put everything in the tray so that you can just um, put the water in there and then they're all right. And obviously then you don't get dirt and stuff everywhere. But that's what we seem to be lacking. I think that we have got more of these trays, but we don't really want to take up the whole of the dining room table. Um, let's have a look. Oh, where's the sunshine gone? So, yeah, so we've already got... Oh, I could put some stuff around here, but as I say, or on here, but there's no more trays, I don't think. Um, that's 
the trouble. So I think a lot of this stuff needs to start going down to the plot. Um, so I might just move some of the peas and stuff and I might see if I can get them down um, soon. I'm gonna have a hunt around, see if I can find any more um, black trays because then I could just put them down here on the floor for now. Guess what, I found some and there's some more. So I'm gonna see, have a little shuffle around just for now and then a lot of this as I say I need to look at what I can take down to the allotment what is can sort of go outside I mean they're only in the summer house which it's probably a little bit warmer than the potty tunnel because it hasn't got the uh, uh, like the breeze type of thing it's just you know solid structure as opposed to the potty tunnel that's just like a tent um but some things I know can go down there. We have supposedly had our last frost date, um, but as you know, that can uh, throw a spanner in the works by just appearing half when you're not expecting it. Um, but I know that some of this stuff can go out now, especially the peas, I know they can definitely go out. Um, tomatoes I'm a bit, a bit wary of, but I do know people that have planted out their tomatoes around here. So, we can we'll see um if not i can take it down put it in the greenhouse we have got some space down there so i'm just going to put them in these trays for now so that they're sown and getting going um, and then i might come back over the next couple of days depending on the weather um, and take them down to the plot um and get them down there so i've also managed to get the spaghetti squash the honey boat squash patty pan jack and then three sort of rows of jack be little so they're in like this type of uh, tray um, and there's one seed in each one apart from I think one of them might be the honey boat there's six seeds so I just stuck two in the end one um, but I still have all of these seeds to sow um, but I've run out of time and space so I am going to go home now because uh, it's dinner time and I'm going to come back maybe tomorrow um, or the next day and have a shuffle about um, and try and get the rest of these sown. Most of them are squash, but there are some sort of chia, um, cucumelons, chickpeas, um, yeah, and the rest of the squash. I didn't do the Turk's turban or the crown prince. So um, yeah, I'll have to have another, see if I have another shuffle. So I'm gonna give this a quick water, the stuff I've just sown. Um, and try and do the rest another day. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.